Hey guys, how you doing? This is Amanda Set and I'm here today to bring the review for Dragon Ball Super episode 117. And if I'm honest, there's not really much I want to say about this episode. It was all about uh the two magical girls versus Android 17 and Android 18. By the end of the episode, they're knocked out. But before I go into that, um I just want to talk about something else quickly. So in the early stages of the episode, we had with the two magical girls and the three other people from the universe to head towards Goku. And now I've mentioned it many times within my Dragon Ball Super reviews for this um tournament of power that nobody is taking this um tournament one hundred percent seriously. And again I have to say it, I have to say it because it was a point where it was five of them standing over Goku and they're just they're standing over him. If they was taking this tournament seriously with a rushed in boom they it's, it's been said that they know that Goku is a threat to them. If he was really a big of a threat as they um the portraying him to be, they would have zooped in there and you know got him out of the ring. So like there was one person less down but they're standing over them, and then you could argue that, you know, they just got there, and when they was about to attack, and that's when Android 17 and Android 18 came in, okay, fair enough, but what happened when the only two magical girls got rid of Android 17 and Android 18, and it was just the three of them standing over Goku, and then at the end of the episode, they're still standing over Goku, now, you could argue the point where we don't, we're not really watching this in real time, so it, an episode is 20 minutes for us, but for them, you know, a few seconds could pass. I don't care. By now, they've had enough time. Those three people have had enough time to get rid of Goku, but they haven't done it. So, yeah, no one's taking this tournament seriously. But when you talk about the whole magical girl versus Android, the Android 17 and Android 18, um, all I've got to say about that really is that I like this fight because it had a teamwork element to it with Android 17 and Android 18 using using teamwork to defeat them and also their sibling relation which um, they don't really have much screen time together um, they don't really have much screen time together but we don't know how close they um got before they was turned into androids and all of that because during the this episode we do see them communicating without communicating you know just looks and nods and that kind of stuff as well so yeah and regardless of any of that um it was a good it was a good teamwork effort to defeat Bree Bree and the other magical girls so I did like that the greatest thing about this episode was the fact that we are finally rid of Bree Bree. She was so annoying and this really upsets me because I had high hopes for some really good female fighters being introduced into the army um, dragon board as a total and you know just I had really high hopes for Bree Bree and she just really disappointed and in this episode they tried to um they tried to give Bree Bree more character where well, oh, they try to give Bree Bree more character by trying to explain why she's fighting in the tournament where they're telling us how she wants to spread love to all the universes and it doesn't work because it makes Bree Bree seem more dumb it makes her it makes it seem like Bree Bree doesn't really understand what love is because she couldn't tell until the very end of the episode that there is love between Android 17, I mean Android 18 and Krillin. So yeah, that whole trying to give Bree Bree a motivation for fighting in the tournament didn't really work for me personally anyway. And yeah, that's it. Everything else about the episode made sense. You know, um, Andrew 18 breaking out that attack because on um, that attack at the very end. Because if I remember correctly, it was said that that could only bind those who don't have love. And obviously, we know that Andrew 18 
I mean, I'm just quitting, but yeah, anyway, I'm rambling now. So yeah, anyway, summarize. Good episode because of the team works between Andrew 18 and Andrew 17, and also because Bree Bree has been knocked out of the tournament. So because of those reasons, I give it a full story. I just remember something that I wanted to mention quick, and it happened during the scene where Vegeta was versing that um that guy. The ro- I'm not sure if he's a robot, but he's got he's had all these different. Moves and it just made me think, isn't that the belt that he uses to transform? Wouldn't that be considered an item? Like, you know, yeah, wouldn't that be considered an item which are against the rules? Like, the rules of this tournament seem really relaxed. Like, there was that in this episode, and it also came to the part where, um, where Bree Bree was getting the, um, the love sent to her so she can unlock her final transformation. Not only was they using items to transfer the energy to her in a similar fashion of the spirit bomb, but the people that was transferring the love with energy to her were people that already knocked knocked out, no, knocked out. So not only would that be considered an item use, would it not also be considered outside interference, which again should be a rule that has been broken. So technically, as far as I can calculate, Universe 2 should have been disqualified for a little bit. Like always, that's my for your thoughts and opinions. If you haven't already, please go to my YouTube channel. Most importantly, take care. Have a nice day.